Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for clicking on this video. It's gonna be a fun one today. We've got four off shops to get stuck into. I'm gonna show you every single item that I pick out today. I'm gonna to show you what it goes on to sell for on eBay. Three new videos every single week talking all things how to make money on the internet. So if that's something that you wanna get into or you're currently doing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like as well. It's a great way to support the channel and I just cannot thank you enough. We're just a couple of seconds away. I'll see you in the first thrift. Fingers crossed we can get some good stuff to start it. So you know what, guys, it is a fresh start to the day. We've done pretty well here. First stop, nine o'clock in the morning. I think it's only about 9.15. I've gone in and out very, very quickly for this first one. But I was pretty happy with a few of these things that I've been able to find. I'm gonna start with some winter wear. Now, over here in Australia, we're coming into the winter time. So I've got a bit of a mindset to start thinking about sourcing some really nice winter gear. And I found this Sikoni or Sikoni. I'm, I'm sure I've stuffed that up, but I really like this brand. It's a really good running shoe. And if you can find it in a nice little jumper like this, just a little cotton piece. So I think it's a women's extra large is the size and I've only paid seven dollars for it So I thought I'd grab that because winter wear I think you can always get a few more dollars than your standard summer type clothing So I thought I'd grab that the other one as well was this uh, UCLA Bruins top now I love my American sport. This is a college sport. Obviously the UCLA college uh, the Bruins um, This one was pretty sick seven dollars and it's a size medium men's so a little long sleeve number there in the Under Armour brand I thought I had to grab that for that price now this one as well this RM Williams jumper. I just thought this little rugby jumper was an absolute ripping grab. Yes, it was $20, but I do think based on the comps that I can get upwards of about 80 bucks for it. So I was never gonna say no to this. It's an extra large. It is in great condition. Um, had to take it. And I'm, I'm really confident that obviously at the time of the year as well, as I mentioned, now is a really good time to start buying that sort of stuff. So I think the timing of the year is also coming into my favor for that one at 20 bucks. I don't normally buy clothing for $20, but RM Williams is such a great brand. I really do think it'll sell for 80 and that'll make me my profit. You've just got to know your numbers at the end of the day. And I think there's going to be some good, good profit in that one. Speaking of knowing your numbers, these ASICS Gel Nimbus 20s were a ripping fine. Now, I didn't even check the size. They're a US 10, which, oh my goodness, I, I couldn't be more happy with that, to be honest. These are a men's pair of shoes. They have cost me $15. The soles are still in excellent condition. There is used pairs going for $135 on eBay. I would say these are in basically nine out of 10 condition. I'm gonna try and go for a hundred bucks on these and I really do think that I'm gonna get it. The Nimbus 20 is quite a, a recent model. Um, so it's not an old shoe by any means and it's in very, very good condition with limited wear. So this is probably one of my greatest finds uh, in the shoe range. I think I'll push maybe even over a hundred bucks for that one. So look, there's a good easy couple of hundred dollars here once those are all said and done. There was only four items purchased, but you don't need to buy a heap of items to get maximum profit. Sometimes you can really just cherry pick the best of the bunch and you can still make quite a bit. So I've spent about 40 odd dollars there, but I've, I've sourced some really good items and I think they'll go on to sell really well. So I'm super stoked with the start to the day. Let's go and grab a few more items, second off shop. We'll see how we go.
guys, op shop number two all wrapped up there, and I thought that was a pretty good run as well. We've got another four items here, so so far we're up to a total of eight for the day. I'll kick things off with the shoes. There was only one pair of shoes that I could actually grab, and that was these ones here. You'll see there, $12 for these. Now, the brand is Supra. You'll see that they're Supra. Now, if you can find these shoes, they're a skateboarding shoe. They've got the high top, obviously, to them. Uh, these are obviously in very good nick. Have a look at the soles. There is absolutely nothing wrong with those. These can go upwards of $60 to $70. I've sold a pair before for about $80 in pre-owned condition, just like this. So I think the red color, the fact that it's a men's size eight, I reckon I'm gonna go upwards of that again, sort of $70 to $80 for these, and I've only paid 12 bucks. So do look out for this brand. Supra goes on to sell really well. I've done it a couple of times now, so I'll always grab it when I see it. Um, now this one was deceiving. A lot of people will pass on this, but this is a ripping fine. Now this is the new era brand. When you're buying snapback caps, if you can find the new era brand, which is uh, that there, new era. So this hat here was actually the grand final uh, 2020. So last year's grand final at the Gabba, a bit of a historic event. It's never been played before at the Gabba for those outside of Australia. It's just our national football league. This grand final hat, there was brand new uh, comps on eBay for about $120, if you can believe. Now I've only paid $4 for this. It's in pre-owned condition, but it's in excellent pre-owned condition. So I'm going to push upwards of $80 to $100 for this um, because it is you know, not brand new, no tags on it. But who would have thought, hey, you buy this in the shops, you see it just lying on the shelf for $4 in an op shop, you probably pass on it, but it is actually worth quite a bit of money. So I was really happy to grab that one. Um, found another awesome DVD series, uh, Round the Twist. I've paid $3 each for these. This was every single episode, seasons one to four of an iconic Australian TV show. I used to watch this one as a kid. Let me know in the comments if you used to watch Around the Twist. This is an awesome TV show. Now I've got every single episode, every single disc in there. They do come for around $60 to $70 and I've paid three for 12 bucks. I'll pay $12 for those. And I do think that I'll, I'll make about $25 to $30 pretty easily. DVDs, bundle them up, try and get complete series. You'll always make a few more dollars. And I found a pair of women's jeans. Now these are the Wrangler brand. I talk about Wrangler a lot. I buy it a lot on this channel, on these sort of episodes. There it is there. These are the Twiggy, uh, the skinny jeans, women's skinny jeans. They are in like new condition and they're a women's size 10. So hey, girls out there, if you're watching this, if you want to get this pair of jeans, I'll give it to you super cheap. Um, just DM me on Instagram and we'll get the deal done for you. Uh, ripping pair of jeans, had to grab those as well. Um, that was everything. Didn't pay a hell of a lot there either, but I've got four really good quality items that are going to sell really well on eBay. So um, happy with that. We've got really kind of just cherry picking today so far, two up shops down. Let's dive into the third one. I'm hoping we can grab a few more. Music guys, we've had a pretty good run here for op shot number three. Got a quite a number of things. I'll kick things off with, I'll go the board game actually. I found this board game, the Chase Australia. Now this is on TV at the moment, so it is quite relevant. I've paid just $5 for it as you can see there. Now when you're buying board games, if you can buy it brand new sealed up, you're gonna make a couple of extra bucks. So I didn't even do the comps on this, but I believe having looked at it here in the car, that it goes for about 35 to 40, maybe even a little bit more because it is brand new. So super stoked to get my hands on that brand new board game. Hey, thank you very much to Manic to Mindful, uh, Bron, she is a Gold Coast thrifter, Gold Coast reseller, and she saw in my last video of a trip to the thrift last Thursday that I passed on this DVD series. So she said, go and grab it. It's worth quite a few. And sure enough, I've come back in and a week later, it's still there. So thank you very much for that, Bron. Um, this one I got for $5 and it goes on to sell for $45. So there's gonna be bound to be about 20 to 25 bucks worth of profit there. So thank you very much, Bron. Uh, I found this as well, National Lampoon's Wally World t-shirt for $2. Why 
why not? Why not for two dollars? Size large. I thought that was a bit of a novelty one. Should go on to sell on eBay. And then I found Banana Republic, a men's button-up shirt. Now Banana Republic is a good brand. Does go on to sell quite well. This is a men's size large and uh, blue check, like new condition. I really do think that I'll get the full twenty nine ninety nine free postage scenario on that one. And I've only paid five bucks. So not there's a bit of money there when you're buying business shirts. Um, I always like to buy shirts that are long sleeve, not short sleeve. I just seem to make a couple of extra bucks doing it that way. These shoes I almost passed on because of the size. They were US seven and a half, but in the end, a nine dollar pair of Nike shoes. It's the it's the item that I buy the most and sell the most. So I had to grab them. Nine bucks for these US seven and a half. These are the Metcon threes, Nike Metcon threes. Couldn't say no. I'm a sneakerhead. I love my sneakers. Another one as well I've been able to find is these Under Armour women's running shoes as well. These are a US size eight. Uh, they are the Assert Sixes, and I, again, I think probably forty to forty-five dollars for these, and I've paid nine dollars. So you just can't say no. Had to grab them as well, and that was everything, guys. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was. So six items there. We're up to fourteen now. We're going to do one more op shop, and fingers crossed we can get it to twenty. I'd like to buy another six in the last one to finish. Let's see if we can do that. We'll see you in there. It's been a big day, guys, but uh, happy to wrap it up. And I did find those six items to round out the day. So 20 items today purchased. I'll kick things off in this little run with the Asics Gel Game Women's Court Shoes. Now, these are a US 8.5. They're like a tennis or a, um, a netball shoe. I've got to do some research into them. But an 8.5, I've paid $6. The soles are still pretty good. Uh, no complaints there. They should move until about $50 based on what I was seeing on eBay. Uh, I've also found a couple of DVDs. Yes, you can still make money on DVDs. Uh, Wii Sport Resort. So this is actually a game, not a DVD, but two dollars in, you'll make twenty-five on that. No dramas at all if you can find it. Uh, and then I found this DVD, Passion Pop. It's a Billabong uh, DVD surfing DVD, and uh, it's got all the uh, late great Andy Irons in it. So I thought I'd have to grab that one as well. Uh, more so for myself, I think, more than anything. Um, I've also found EJ Twelve as well. This is a book series. Now, if you can find this book series in its entirety, or just at least a large bundle, they do go on to sell very, very well. EJ Twelve kids book series. I've only paid four dollars fifty for this, and being five books in the bundles that I was looking at, maybe $25 to $30. I really wish I could have found a few more because I would have made a lot more. Um, I found this uh, button-up linen shirt as well. Now, linen is just a better material than cotton, guys. So if you're doing your clothing and you're pretty new to it all, try and find yourself some linen because you'll make a couple of extra. Uh, extra large on this one. Nice color to it as well. Long sleeve, um, large Gant is the brand. Um, look out for Gant. It actually goes on to sell pretty well and $6 there. That was based on view, uh, viewer feedback on this channel that's got me into this brand. So thank you to you guys. Um, and I've also found this one as well, the guitar, the Les Paul Guitar Hero Guitar. They often sell these in, in op shops for around the $60 price point. Not today. There was actually a zero missing, maybe a typo from one of the staff, but I'll take it for $6 because they sell for $75 pretty comfortably. So there we go, guys. Six items there to end the day. It has been a really fun day. I think I've really just cherry-picked the best items. And look, to be honest, I don't do these videos to tr try and promote the products that I'm trying to sell here on eBay to you guys. But I have had a lot of you message me on Instagram saying that you would like a certain item or two. So look, I'm really happy to look after you. If you are interested in anything that's been thrifted today, shoot me a message on Instagram. We can have a quick chat and it'll be a very, very cheap price that I'll do for you guys because I want to support you as much as you would be supporting me. Um, but that's it. We are all done. Thanks very much for tuning in. Hope you've had some real enjoyment out of this episode. Hopefully there's some brands, some items that you can go on to sell for yourself and find in the thrift yourself. Um, we'll do a What's Sold episode on Sunday. I look forward to that as always. Thank you for tuning in if you're still watching at this point and we'll see you in the next vid thanks guys